But what we're going to discuss today, you know, the boot camp is tomorrow is mañana. So, Laura willing, you know what I'm saying? Today, I'll be able to get out everything that I'm trying to get out. <laughs> so, I uh, have made preparations and everything. So, like I said, we'll be going live on those two days per week from Zoom. Uh, so, we only have to deal with the StreamYard BS. Um, and right now, I am all out here at the hotel in Panama. And <laughs> the internet is better, but I don't want to speak too soon. All right. So we're going to be doing everything from Zoom during the boot camp, though. OK. All right. So you should see my screen right now. If you see my screen, say that uh, put put chat GBT in the comments. Chat GBT. It's 23 people on here live. Get those likes up, man. It should be 23 live. Why y'all being stingy, man? Don't fight your finger. Don't fight the finger, baby. All right. <laughs> OK. What's going on, y'all? I'm happy. We are here. Okay, so y'all can see my screen. We got the chat GPT is in here. I ain't going to hold y'all up. We're going to get straight to it because it's action packed, baby. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like I got a, a Mayweather fight tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we about to make some money. It's about to be, yo, it's getting heavy, man. I ain't been this excited since the Godfather of drop service and uh, dropped. If you already went on ahead and pre-ordered, because some of you guys couldn't even wait until tomorrow. I think we have like five or six people that already got inside the boot camp. All right. If you if you got inside the boot camp, go ahead and put it in the in the chat, man. Motivate everybody else to get off the fence if they're afraid, you know what I'm saying? Or if they're, they're afraid or skeptical or or I don't know, penny pension or whatever. If you can do it, man, I, I would strongly suggest y'all don't y'all don't uh, hesitate. But anyway, we're gonna go over the criteria or the itinerary. We're gonna go over the days that we're gonna be live streaming. We're gonna go over uh, some of the actual videos that will be in a recorded course that is launching tomorrow. So the launch of the course is tomorrow. We're going live for the first time, March first. Okay, so tomorrow, those of you who have already paid and the people that do pay at five p.m. will be the official launch all right the official launch is 5 p.m and that's when we will release all of the content um inside of the course and everything like that okay and you'll get your schedules for the uh, the live boot camp trainings which will be on sundays and wednesdays that's as good as i can do i know some of you guys got jobs it will be replays inside the course and everything but those of you who can be there live make sure you are there live dude make sure you there. look it ain't gonna be nothing like it dude we're gonna have people that own assets that are monetized we're gonna be interviewing them they're gonna be walking you through what they did how they became successful it's nothing like this out here besides going to some like stupid college course or something right okay <laughs> all right and we're gonna to be uh, uh you know interviewing some of you guys as you monetize your platforms and everything okay so you're going to get visibility to your assets as well we're going to make sure you guys make money during this eight week boot camp yes it's 5 p.m uh eastern tomorrow it launches all right uh steve steve harvey said i'm driving where's the link for a course we don't do the links we send invoices all right so you would just text uh yeah all right, we'll put it in the chat right now. 314-500-5528. You just text bootcamp to that number. Only if you're really trying to do it, y'all. Okay, like a lot of people get some stimulation or, or, or something out of like messaging us, but not taking action. Like it, it's like, I, well, at least I made a step or something. I don't know what it is, but they'll message and then we'll send the invoice in. And my VAs are telling me like, hey, we'll send the invoice. And after we send the invoice, they just disappear. Look, it ain't doing me no favors for you guys to just pretend. All right. I'm only dealing with people that actually want to do this. This is why I didn't go and make it some huge launch like last time. I didn't go do collaborations on other people's channels. I didn't purchase ad time. I didn't go and uh, promote to other people's email lists or none of that. The people on this channel, you guys are the only ones that know about this asset empire bootcamp. Uh, this is going to be the first round of this, and I'm, I'm probably going to do two a year, okay? Because it's eight weeks to be spending time with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't know y'all like that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, I love y'all though. All right, so we got Bite Size Learning. We got KFC that said, yes, Lord. Whoever that was is just, okay, yeah, yeah. If you text boot camp while we're live, guys, if the VA, because it's 5 p.m., that means it's 5 a.m. where she is. So if she don't get to you, then I'll get to you 
uh, either in between class or after we get off of this. But we got to get to the class part of this because we missed Sabbath class. Like it, the funny thing about it, it was a wind outage again today, right? <laughs> <laughs> but all praises to the most high. We were able to get the internet going. I'm out here at this hotel to make sure that I, I deal with you guys today, right? Because I want to deliver. I want to deliver. What's up, Soul Flow? All right. Steve Harvey, self made. He said, drop the number. I dropped it. Uh, Boko Bay, what's up, Jimmy? What's up, Pamela? Michael Curtis, what's going on, all y'all? All right. So we're going to get to the scriptures. And then I'm going to show you guys what is going to be at the beginning of the course. I am going to drip feed it so that you don't rush it. We got a lot of people texting boot camp, y'all. Okay, so like I said, just remember, don't do it unless you really want to like actually do it. And make sure you guys know the prices because don't, don't just fly off the handle. It's $2,500 for the boot camp. All right, it's $2,500. So hey, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt nobody, right? I'm not one of them people to be like, hey, make sure you spend your last. I'm not going to do that. You know, that's up to you, right? Um, uh, but just make sure you're sure before you text us. All right. Okay. But let's get to it, guys. I missed you guys. Let's make, let's make something happen. Let's make something happen. All right. So we're going to go to Ecclesiasticus and I'm feeling this already, man. Ain't nothing freezing up yet. Okay. I'm feeling this already. We use a zoom. Look at that. I'm looking at my phone and it looked like it's working pretty good. Okay. So look at this right here. If you want to know how to select a coach or a so-called mentor, guys, okay? You want to use these scriptures on them and on yourself. Remember, if you are to have a friend, they need to be proven. It doesn't matter if they're a relationship friend, a coach friend, uh, a, a girl, or whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. You need to prove them, all right, so that you don't get played, okay? So watch this, Ecclesiasticus. This is what I live by on this anti-job university uh, channel. All right. Ecclesiasticus chapter 33, verse 17. <laughs> Self-made said, yeah, it's working. Hey, that's crazy, right? I've been talking all this stuff about Zoom, but hey, we get, we just getting started though. All right. All right. It says, consider that I labored not for myself only, not for myself only, but for all them, but for all them, that's you guys that seek learning. Listen, guys, I'm not a huge channel. I can only affect and help the people that I can reach that God leads to me. But my goal is for anybody that takes action with what I do and help them with to make sure that they're different in a good way by the time they're done dealing with me, if we ever stop dealing with each other. Right. So that's my goal. Right. All right. So I know you heard it before and it sounds like BS. A lot of coaches out there, they'll tell you, look, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're asking, well, if this is so good, well, why are you helping other people? Why are you telling other people about it? And then I used to feel and think the same way, right? And they'll say something like, well, you know what I'm saying? It gets to a point where you get the money and it sucks just being by yourself or not doing nothing for nobody. And I used to think that was BS. Yeah, yeah I just want some more money from your core sales. And it's true. It's really nothing better in this world uh, than money, but more money. But the they were also telling the truth. Like, what's the point? You understand what I'm saying? Like, you can't mastermind by yourself. You understand? And what's better than masterminding by people who you directly served and helped and helped change their life? You met them at this point in their life, and now they're at this point in your life, in their life, and you had something to do with that. So now I understand what they were saying. You know what I'm saying? It says, consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. Remember this, guys. I've been doing this since the end of 2014. OK, when it says I labored not for myself, it's because all knowledge is shared knowledge. OK, all knowledge is supposed to be shared knowledge, guys. All right. Because if it took me all this time, it's not supposed to take you all that time if you come across me and take action. So I didn't labor for myself unless I keep it all to myself. If I'm putting it out there and you take action on it, then it shouldn't take you as long as it took me. You understand? So I didn't labor for myself. And if you have anybody, it don't even have to be with me. Trust me. Look, I'm not trying to be salesy. I don't want you guys to work with me unless you want to work with me, guys. Please. No buyer's remorse over here. OK, it'll just be us six people that already got in five or six people that already got in. But 
hey, the more the merrier, right? But I just want you guys to understand that I didn't do this just for me. None of us do. Even the ones that you don't like, the Ty Lopez's and all of that, it feels just as good as getting a dang on payment to see y'all get paid. It does, because then it really validates and proves that what we teach is valuable. You understand? All right. So now we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, Zach Stone said, what, do, what does one do if they can't afford the 2500 bucks? That's how much it is if you're going to attend a live boot camp, the, uh, just the, the course itself. If you just can only, only afford the course, that's 2K, and that's going to have the replays of everything that we do live in there. If you can't afford the 2K, then guys, look, I've been on here forever, you know, and you see, I don't upbraid the knowledge. I give liberally, just like the scripture tell me to. So I'm going to still help you on here no matter what, but it's just about having more personal time with me if you are in the live, in the, in the live boot camp. You get more personal time. You understand? Um, so that's what it's about. But if you have to uh, stack up your ducats or pawn something or, or do whatever the heck you got to do, cut like 10, 15 people dang on grass every five minutes. No, I'm just playing. Do, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And make a move. This is if this is important to you. OK. All right. Like I said, I'm not trying to pressure anybody. I don't like buyer's remorse. OK. So now next. Watch this. Read this. And I had to learn this the the uh, uh, the, the long way, the hard way, pause. I, I had to learn this, man, because you always watch YouTube and you think, oh, I could do this. Or I got this dude course and it just got stuff from YouTube in it. Or I could have learned that. Yes. All of this stuff y'all can learn. You can learn a drop ship, drop service, your Amazon, FBA, white label. You can learn all this stuff on your own. But the difference is, guys, you haven't been through the trial and error. You haven't been through the crash uh, test dummy experimental phase. You haven't spent the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, way more than what a course costs, uh, on Facebook ads and Google ads, testing this stuff out to get it to convert to a point to where you can just say, hey, I already know that that's what I have to do to make money. So yes, you can go out and learn all this stuff for free. I'm never going to tell you guys you can't, but it's about most of you guys are middle-aged just like me. Do you really think you're young enough to sit on YouTube all day, learn SEO when it's ever-changing, learn paid ads, learning how to build and fill these assets and all of that? So no, you're not paying just for knowledge because you can get that just like I did, only it took me about five, seven, eight years. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So if you got that amount of time and you don't want to pay for anything, have it. But I always talk about leverage and uh, people know a lot about leveraging other people's money with loans and funding and all of that. But one thing people don't really talk about a lot is leveraging other people's knowledge. Why do you think people like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, when they grow their companies, they don't grow it off their own knowledge. They go to all of these colleges in the same way that the colleges be scouting for athletes. They be scouting for the freaking uh, youngest and uh, brightest geniuses that they can put on their dang on team. Why? So they ain't got to learn how to grow the company. They can leverage knowledge of others. OK, so check this out. It says the fool, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. I was guilty of this. I'm like, look, I don't need these dudes. You understand? Look, I can figure this out on my own. You know how many years I wasted, how many hard SEO keywords I ranked for only to find out I wouldn't even be able to monetize that dang old keyword. So all I got is bragging rights. All of this could have been avoided if it was coaches or something that I could have dealt with. OK, so it says, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. He or she that hearken it, meaning listens to counsel, meaning a mentor or someone that has experience, that person is wise. Why? Because you don't want to waste all that time bumping your dang on head, tripping and falling. You understand? All right. So now next, and we're going to get to it, guys. We're going to get to what's going to be the first few videos in the course. So I know you're excited about that. I know you're excited about that. I'm more excited about the days that we're going to be going live together because it's going to be super freaking killer because we're going to be doing the interviews. We're going to have the developers. We're going to have other people that own assets on there. Um, I might even reveal some of the assets that, that you guys don't know about. 
some of the more successful and profitable ones that I have. I really don't like to show that just in case somebody ever try to come after me. And I'll explain that in the videos that you guys are going to learn how to hide your assets and how to hide your identity as well. So there's some crazy James Bond stuff in there that we be dealing with. And uh, anyway, let, let's move on. Okay. Watch this. Proverbs chapter four, verse 26. Oh, snappage. Proverbs. Curtis says, paid, I'm in. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Jimmy says, my Zelle will only allow 1K at a time. You take multiple transactions. Yes, sir. Just text that number, boot camp right now, and I'll get to it in a minute and manually do it myself. All right. Um, yeah, just text that number. All right. And we'll we'll figure it out. OK, uh, Zach Stone says, oh, yeah, we already answered that question. Do whatever you can, Zach. Do whatever you can, man. I, I, I understand. All right. Um, but make a move. All right. Proverbs 4 and 26 says, ponder the path of thy feet. OK. Hey, y'all ever went to the club? I mean, you know, I'm from South Side St. Louis and, you know, we used to go to the club. I hated the clubs. I always hated the clubs, man. You uh, you spend all that money on your fit. This is back when we got the give me two pair. I need two pair. You know, I'm from St. Louis, right? <laughs> so you'll get your Air Force Ones, right? And you'll go to the club only, only for people to be stepping all on the mugs. You understand what I'm saying? Like, dude, so like, just like you would be pondering your path in a club, like I'm not going to stand over there by the wall because that's where a lot of people be coming through the entrance. I'm going to stand like over there by the booth or I'm going to stand over here, <laughs> you know, or you ain't trying to step in some dog crap or something. The same way you are careful about those steps, you need to be careful about your financial steps as well. OK, you need to ponder. You don't want to just experiment and play around. If you listen, if you're on here and you're 18 or 21, fine. Fine, man. But some of us are not mature minded enough to look in the mirror and realize, listen, I'm way past the days where I'm supposed to just be playing around and testing this stuff out. Do I or do I not? want to own assets, leave shackles of nine to five plantations and actually start living in the world that was created for me. The world was created for you. You ain't supposed to only just be working all the time or trying to figure out money all the time. And the only way I, well, the best way I've found is either investing into businesses that are already profitable are creating assets that take on a life of their own and create their own profitability. Those are the two best ways I've found. Okay. Ah, golly, guys. Okay. So ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Listen, he didn't say some ways. A lot of you guys go to church and you will get advice from your pastor when it comes to spirituality. OK, but when it comes to other stuff like business or relationships or something like that, you don't go after wise counsel. You don't go after somebody that's already proven it or been through it or have factual evidence that they can make a change in your life. You try to say, you know what? I figured out. I figured it out. <laughs> and I'm guilty of that. You understand what I'm talking about? Dude, imagine if social media was around in 2014. It was out, but it wasn't as like everywhere as it is right now. The gurus were still in hiding. They were still considered black hat. It was still considered scammy to get a coach and all of that extra stuff. Nobody wanted to come out in the spotlight until Ty Lopez made it cool to be a freaking guru. So now it's easy to get coaches. But back when I needed a freaking coach, they were nowhere to be found. I think I couldn't find nobody to give my money to. You understand what I'm saying? So now you guys can let all your ways be established. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all, especially your girlfriends, be taking freaking relationship advice when she get mad at you from single women or from women that got divorces. That sucks. That's not letting your ways be established. If I want to know how to have a successful marriage, I'm dealing with some elders that's been married forever. So if I want to learn finances and get my finances stable or on, on an increase, 
then I'm going to deal with people that's done that. Now, I'm not guaranteeing nobody riches. I'm not promising you nothing. The scripture says God, he's the one to give you the power to give wealth. You understand? But I can give you an established path, a proven path that if you take or not if we don't like the ifs, when you take action, your success can be a win. Instead of an if you're going to win, it could be a win you're going to win. You can make it inevitable. And that's what I always talk to you guys about. How do you make your success inevitable? Inevitable. Okay. I see. Oh, dang. That was you, Curtis. <laughs> Curtis just, uh, he just enrolled. There we go. All right, so everybody that's enrolling today, guys, the launch, remember, the official launch date is tomorrow. So that is when you will get access of everything. That's how I got it scheduled, all right? But, hey, I'm proud of you guys that took action early and for you that take action tomorrow or whatever. It doesn't matter when you do it as long as you take action. But what I will say, uh, the day that we first go live is March 1st. So that will be the uh, only you have between uh, tomorrow and March 1st to get into the boot camp. After that, after it starts, I can't let anybody come in late and then you'll be dragging down a group. So you'll have, uh, for, for anybody that purchases after that, we'll just be paying 2000 and then you'll get the course that will have all the live uh, uh, replays and the regular course content and all of that, which is still going to be way more powerful than pretty much anything else out there. But it's just for those of you guys who couldn't make it to the live. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what the extra 500 was for. That's for you to actually be there live with us. All right. But if you can't make it there, then just just, you know, the 2K tomorrow, you pay the 2K and you'll get still you'll still get access to everything. and You'll still get the replays and all of that. All right. So let's move on. But congratulations and welcome to the team, Curtis, man. All right. So let all your ways be established, guys. I need y'all. Let me close some of these windows out before I start acting up. But make sure you guys go back and watch this replay either in the morning or tonight because you need these scriptures. I ain't write them down for you, but <laughs> you need these scriptures, man. It'll keep you on a guided path. You understand? So you won't fall off of anything. Friendships, relationships, finances, spirituality, uh, uh, fitness goals, whatever it is you're working on. Like this stuff can work for all of that. Okay. Proverbs 4 and 26, one, time, one more time, ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways, let all your ways be established. All right. Uh, Michael Curtis said, what other costs? I have the builder, builder all already. Uh, you just, if you're getting in a boot camp, it's just 2,500, man. Just 2,500. Um, I'm not going to charge you anything else. If you want to add extra stuff for growth, like paid advertising or something like that, that's completely like, uh, uh, optional. That's, that's up to you guys. Listen, guys, I, I don't force feed anybody. I give you your options and then you, you make a move. If you decide it's good for you. All right. Because I just want everybody to be comfortable with the decisions that they make themselves. I'm not putting a gun to nobody. All right. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So check this out. Look, we got Proverbs chapter 15. This one is one of my favorite ones because I've been a victim of this one right here. It says Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Oh, snap. So your purpose is to become financially free. Your purpose is to not even have to look at a price tag when you go in the store. I ain't look like I said, I'm not promising you to be rich or nothing like that. But wouldn't it just be nice if you didn't have to ask what the price is? Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to uh, switch over money from <laughs> from the, the 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 saving side to the spending side because you're trying to avoid uh, bills coming out when you don't want them to come out of your dang on check and stuff? <laughs> I'm speaking from experience, baby. You understand what I'm saying? Hashtag yes, law it. <laughs> All right. So it would be nice. It would be nice. It says without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. And sorry if you hear the two can sound weird sounding birds in the background, guys. I'm literally in the jungle. All right. <laughs> but in the multitude of the counselors, they are established. Your purpose is established when you connect yourself 
with your with yourselves with people that have already been in your shoes and overcome. Remember what Yahushua or Christ said. He said, hey, we shouldn't fear the world because he overcame the world. So that means we can overcome the world. What does that mean? Aren't we supposed to walk in the footsteps that he made in the sand? See, his footsteps very clear, very clear in the sand a lot of times in our lives. And then we're like, you know what? I want to make my own tracks and then get mad if it don't lead down the same path. OK. Like, trust me, I done did a lot of that stubborn crap. Look, I'm just try it. You know what I'm saying? Like they did that, but you know, I, I don't even know if it's going to work for me. So I'll figure it out. All right. Do your thing then. Do your thing. It says without counsel, purposes are disappointed. That's when you 40, 50, still trying to figure this stuff out. When you got 19 year old kids with, with hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars Shopify accounts. Figuring this stuff out because the, they're in the they're in the generation where you go straight to a coach. Back in the day, when the only coach we heard of is Tony Robbins walking on freaking uh, hot coals with your feet out. You understand? Like <laughs> that was the only coach uh, the only coach we knew uh, publicly. But nowadays, these young kids they go straight to the coach, save up their check or steal their mama credit card and go straight to the coach. And then you watch the testimonials. They ask them how they are. 22 year old makes 300,000 in the past two months. You know, you be like 22 year old, man. I've been on this job for 30 years and this thing on. That's because they go straight. They're raised to go straight to the coach. So while we waste time trying to figure it out, yo, I'm proud that the next generation ain't going to make the same mistakes we did. OK, but it's not too late. It says, but in a multitude of counselors, they are established. Your purposes are established, guys. Okay, it's 25 people on here. Let's get the likes up, please. Por favor. All right. Now, now we go to this one. And this goes deeper into what we were just talking about. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10. We only got this one and one more after that. Then I'll show you guys or I'll pretty much break down what is going to be the first couple videos inside and, and steps inside the program, inside the boot camp. It's super exciting, man. It's super exciting, okay? But anyway, like I haven't really shared this. Even in the Godfather of Drop Service, of course, um, I, I did not share what I'm going to share with you guys in this boot camp. Uh, what was that? Okay, Oliver says, Sunday service. Did you take up the offering yet? Listen, you, 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 uh, you got jokes, bro. <laughs> We don't do the collection plate Christianity thing over here, bro. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> he played too much, man. All right, so we got <laughs> Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10. It says, only by pride cometh contention. So you're only going to deal with issues in life because you want to. Like, what? Y'all's real. Or, or David, that's, that's not fair. Stuff happens to good people. Stuff happens here. Stuff happens there. Check this out. I was watching a video called Backdoor Marriages. And it's not, it's, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> okay. What it's talking about is it's talking about how people will get married with each other, even when they know everybody told them that they don't support it. It's not right for them, but they'll go and do it anyway, elope and do all of that. What happens in Vegas movie stuff. And then they end up like the woman ended up causing them hell. Take the alimony and a check and the, and the freaking child support and all of that stuff because they married when they weren't proven. They married against all counsel. Everybody was trying to tell you she wasn't right for you, but she had a big old butt. Oh, yeah. Keisha got a big old butt. Oh, yeah. Tanisha got it. You understand? So you went on ahead after your lust and you went against all counsel. And now you mad because she get majority of your check. So that's that was your pride saying, well, it didn't work for everybody else, but I'm pretty sure it worked for me. We love each other. <laughs> OK, so it happens like that in business, too. Other people try to tell us the, the uh, you know, a proven route. And we say, eh, you know, maybe that's too saturated. I ain't on it. I'm going to try this over here. Or maybe that don't work anymore. That was working five years ago. I'm going to try this over here. OK. It says by pride come contention. Only by pride come contention. But watch this. But the well advised with the well advised 
is wisdom. Y'all understand? A hey, self-made said, he, he, he. <laughs> so you got some experience with what I was just talking about, bro? <laughs> Okay. Hey, it's, 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 it's a very common situation, y'all. It's a very common situation, dude. You understand? We're, we're like, stubbornness is just built into us. You understand? Like, stubbornness is just built into us. And stubbornness, stubbornness is as the sin of idolatry. It's like, it's like witchcraft. You understand what I'm saying? Like, God looks at it the same way. So he will... He will destroy your hopes and your dreams if you are a prideful person. Pride comes before the fill in the blank. You already know the fall, right? All right. So it says only by pride come and contention, but with, with, with the well advised is wisdom, wisdom. You understand? All right. So I, I just need y'all to know, man. I need y'all to know, like it took me all these years to achieve and accomplish the stuff that I achieved. I've been here since the end of 2014 and I've seen a whole crap load of gurus and people come and go and disappear. Even though I've been at a modest size, I've been here consistently. I've been here. You understand? All right. All praise to the most high because my ways are established. OK, I'm not a Bill Gates or nobody like that yet or anything, but my ways are established to the point that I don't have to worry. You understand what I'm saying? I, I'm in multiple countries with a five family, a five person family and a lot of animals just got a house. No, this is not no bragging type stuff. This is me doing things that nobody in generations of my family. I don't think anybody from my family. In all the generations since slavery have accomplished what I've accomplished. The Most High has chosen this generation to be different, and you guys are included in this generation. So watch this. But with the well-advised is wisdom. So now, this is the last scripture we're going to go at. And then I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that is inside uh, the course of the boot camp. Uh, it was somebody I was supposed to be still dealing with. I cannot remember. Mm, the other day when everything was freezing up. Oh man, the 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 uh what is it called? Did anything freeze up, y'all? Tell me it didn't freeze up. If if y'all can still hear me and see me, put a uh I see you in the chat. Cause it got this thing on what's the name of? Hold on, let me come out of that. Come out of that. Maybe my phone just froze up. Okay, there we go. Okay, self-made say, I see you. DZ say, I see you. KFC Solution says, I see you. All right, cool. Good, good. All right, so, so far, so good with this Zoom situation. It's crazy how many good classes we was having, but we had to stop them because we was on StreamYard. That sucks, dude. That's that's crazy because we got interrupted the other night, and I was having fun with y'all. Okay. It says the mouse isn't moving. Yeah, I haven't moved the mouse yet. You should be able to see it now moving. All right. Um, Ben Jesse says, see you. Michael Curtis says it's working. All right. Now we are on Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Okay. Now watch this. It's consequences in the scripture. So when, when he, listen, it's very rare that the most high gives us a, a, a request. The Bible is an instruction manual. You understand? In order to give instruction, you have to give rules. You have to give commandments. You understand? So it's not really a request or an option. You can talk all that free will stuff all you want, but he has consequences built into your choices. And it's either going to lead to good or it's going to lead to bad. So you can use your free will all you want to and talk all that stuff. But if you don't make the right choices with your free will, he already got it built in. God has his own automations. He don't have to come down here and slap you in the face. Let me say it Australian, slap you on the face. You know? <laughs> he ain't got to come down here and do all of that. He just got it built into the laws that if you disobey the laws, you're automatically going to get this specific consequence. Okay. So watch this. I brought that up for a reason. Because the same guy, the same God that can give you the power to get wealth, he can make a rich man poor as well. Watch this. Hear counsel. 
See, it didn't say you should hear counsel or I, I recommend. It says hear counsel. That's a commandment. Hear counsel and receive instruction. Why? Yeah, I love it because he always tell you why. So that you may, so that thou mayest be wise in the latter end, so that you can get to the end of your life or the end of your trials or the end of your project or whatever you're working on, whatever the goal is, whatever it is. Even if you're trying to get fit and you're just trying to do it on your own or something, it's, it's people out there that used to be fat that in record speeds uh, have the best body in the freaking world right now. Wouldn't it be way smarter instead of just trying to figure it out to go pay them? Okay, so it says, so that you can be wise in the latter end. Watch this. Watch this. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. And remember what I was telling you guys. If a man, the scripture says that if a man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high God. So if the dudes that you're paying attention to are just 100 percent worldly, then they're not wise. I don't care how much uh, Jay-Z said it best. He says, uh, uh, cause a dude wear a kufi, it don't mean that he right. And, uh, cause, uh, cause you don't understand what he's saying. It doesn't mean that he nice because in a rap game, a lot of the conscious rappers, they use a lot of big words and try to sound all deep. And since you're not educated enough to get it, you just automatically think they're just so wise, so much wiser than you. No, <laughs> No, that's that's not where it's at. So it's the same thing with these so-called gurus. Some of them have just a bit, bit, a little bit more experience than you. So it's easy for them to sound like they know everything. But God is trying to teach you how to weed through people. He said, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. He put a comma right there to make a point that if it's not proven, if it's not proven by scripture, that's why ever since we started doing these classes, guys, I've been showing you business, biblical business principles, not worldly stuff. You ain't seen me do a Grant Cardone breakdown in years. You ain't seen me do none of these, none of that, because that stuff comes and goes. That stuff changes. What are the principles that's been here since the beginning, since we were trading a dang on snake belt for river water. I don't know. I'm just making some stuff up. <laughs> what has been here since then and been working that has passed down generational, generational, generational world wealth coming straight from our forefathers? That's the stuff that I talk about. You understand? So it says, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, comma, that shall stand. Once again, the comma means it's separate, uh, separating. Is separating those that are not proved by God from those that just made it up or probably got lucky and figured some little hack out. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't trying to deal with nobody that just figured something out. Like I, I like to be able to like following the business biblical principles is like the closest thing to being a, a, a futurist or a Nostradamus or a prophet when it comes to your money, because it's literal steps that if you abide by those laws that you're going to get wealthy which is why some of the most wicked people in the world are rich as hell it's not because they're blessed and god loved them it's because his laws work no matter what because he's not a liar so even a wicked person if they come across his laws his business principles they're going to find success that don't mean they're getting into the kingdom <laughs> But like here on this kingdom right here, all they got to do is stumble across the Bible and look at it more than we were looking at it. Like, whoa, and take it literally. And boom, now there are these guys that we look up to. OK. Ah, boy, I get hype up off of this. Remember, that shall stand. That shall stand. OK. All right. So now let me. Stop sharing real quick. I'm going to stop sharing real quick. Then I got to get something out of her. Okay, and I'm just going to show you guys the first couple videos that are inside <laughs> inside the course, dude. Like, yeah, I, I really don't want to, but I couldn't help it.
Couldn't help it. What is legacy? Oh, that's the previous version. All right. So now let me share the screen. I'm just going to plug this into chat GPT because I don't really feel like going and getting something else to put this on. And let me share the screen, baby. Let's share, share the screen, man. All right. We are back. Okay. We are back. Okay. And who is this, right? Okay. Um, okay. Y'all, y'all turn it up. Sending them, sending the Allen rolling early as a mug. <laughs> y'all more active than the last uh Godfather of Job Service and people. That was during a scamdemic, though. So I kind of understand that. But yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all ready, boy. I can't wait, man. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. But anyway, so these are some of the asset empire course videos. All right. So just be prepared. You can look at this if you want to, and you can write them down now or something like that. It don't really matter. Everything was gonna is gonna be inside there. Excuse me. This is not gonna be just some little YouTube course, and I'm not going to allow you to rush through it. So it will be drip fed. Okay, you're going to make moves. We make moves over here because there is no action or there is no cash in without putting in action. Remember that you can't cash in without putting in action. Remember that. So we're going to force that action if you show up. <laughs> Don't be scared, right? All right, so check this out. Number one video is launch your asset empire, okay? That's like the welcome video or something like that, okay? So it says this video explains what an asset empire is. It gives popular examples of some. It also supply uh, uh, answers what supplies you'll need to launch your own. This video will include policy pages and partner agreement forms for your assets as well. Okay, remember, I'm not a lawyer, so you can have people look over it. It's just gonna, we're gonna send you the ones that, that uh, you know, I'm saying we use and deal with and stuff. Okay, somebody just sent a photo. Tyree, what's up, bro? Okay, all right, guys, anybody that's made a payment. Or anybody that has sent the text message or something like that, because I'm hearing all notifications in the background. I promise to get to you as soon as this live stream is over. All right. Don't don't have any fears. Nobody's going anywhere. I got y'all back. OK. All right. So just give me some time. Give me some time to finish this, bro. Skis. All right. So we got Asset Empire. So it's going to have all of this. The agreement forms for your assets as well. Uh, is also going to include recommendations for payment processors. If you don't like to send invoices and do all of that extra stuff, or if you don't want to risk your payments getting frozen in, uh, in PayPal or Stripe for six dang on months like it happened to me. Now y'all understand why we don't use them anymore if we can avoid it, right? All right, so look, check this out. Do you need multiple LLCs? Remember, in this boot camp, we're trying to get you monetize uh, at least five to seven assets. OK, so you can grow these assets as big or as modest as you want them to be. But a lot of people will ask the question, do I need multiple LLCs? Should I put them all under one umbrella? OK, so we're going to go into that. So it says without giving legal advice. This video explains if and why you'll need a different LLC for each asset. It will explain the dangers of having all businesses under one LLC and then the benefits of having multiple. I told y'all, man, we getting deep, broski. Nobody was there to teach me this stuff, man. I, it is an honor, man. I'm, I'm honored, you understand, to be able to be a bridge because... I don't see this stuff nowhere for real, for real. Like most people, I don't, I don't even know what advice they'll give you about the multiple LLCs. Um, yeah. But anyway, so now we're going to move to this one. This is the number three video. How to hide. OK, <laughs> some Jason Bourne stuff, guys. But it's, it's very, very useful. I promise. How to hide your identity from your most profitable uh, 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 for. I mean, yeah, hold on. Yeah, from your most profitable assets. Okay, watch this. Without giving legal advice, you see, I keep saying that because <laughs> I'm not an attorney. You understand? Do what you want to do. 
And, you know, have somebody look over everything if you want to, blah, 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 right? But don't try to come for me, all right? <laughs> it says, without giving legal advice, this video will go into the taxes, uh, the tax plus lawsuit benefits of hiding your identity from assets you own or partially own, all right? Because if a person don't know that you own an, an asset, and you can make them go through so many different hurdles, you understand, to be able to hide that you own a specific asset, it's kind of hard to come after you. So they can only come after you for what they know you own. For example, you guys know I own Anti-Job University. I only expose the assets that won't make me completely broke if something bad was to happen to me. You understand? <laughs> You understand? You're going to know what I want you to know. And I need you guys to have that same uh, advantage because people are evil out here. It's people on here right now saying nice things to me right now, but might be the same ones to flip around and be trying to come after you. Right. All right. So you can at least make it extremely difficult to figure out your most profitable assets, making it difficult for them to attack you. Also, it helps you to decide which assets to publicly own. What am I talking about now? For example, a brand business such as Anti-Job University might need, the, uh, need to be public because the client customer conversions are currently dependent on me personally, currently. For example, like right now, if I just told somebody else to go live, you guys, I haven't introduced anybody else to you guys as my audience. So chances are you won't even watch these guys. If someone, if I sold my channel to somebody and they start going live and y'all got a notification and seen them in the thumbnail, you're like, who the who is this guy? Who is this? You understand what I'm saying? So right now, this is a brand business. I say right now because eventually it will change, but still, y'all already know it's mine now, right? <laughs> so it's dependent on me. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, it's vulnerable and dangerous. All right. If somebody wanted to come out to Anti-Job University, it wouldn't really be no way I can protect it, right? Okay? So, because you know I own it, right? So, the goal is for your most precious stuff, you understand, the things that, like, can take you out. You want to make it extremely difficult for a person to be able to come and get you for it if they try to sue you, hurt you, blackmail you, take your wife hostage. No, I'm just playing. All right? <laughs> All right, so for other types of products and services that are faceless, you can hide them. For example, a lot of people purchase YouTube channels that are already monetized, and then they hire VAs uh, to just create a whole crap load of YouTube automation videos and schedule them out for months ahead, and they thrive off of the AdSense that come from that, and that's another monetization method that I just, you know, if you never knew about that before, now you know. That's assets. That's called the, uh, the buy and build. Or you buy something that's already set up and profitable and you just build it out more profitable um, so that you get your return on it. And it just makes it to where you don't have to get the 4,000 watch hours or the 1,000 subscribers. So you pretty much just like jump ahead of the game, right? So anyway, <laughs> I be getting into it, right? Anyway, so should your niche assets be local or national? I'm saying, hmm, like Buster Rhymes, right? <laughs> okay, well, in this video, we discuss the advantages and disadvantages of owning niche assets, niche assets locally, right? Choosing wisely can be the difference between profiting quickly from your assets or it taking months or even years to be profitable. So what do I mean by that, guys? If you try to be Zillow and you try to create pages and rank pages in every city nationally and internationally and all of that, man, that could take you years, especially if you don't have a rapid growth hack uh, strategy. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of those growth hack strategies require a percentage of luck and a crap load of money that most people don't have. So how can you achieve uh, a, a, a well-off level of success with your asset in an extremely niche way, uh, uh, um, you know, or locally. So let me give you an example. Uh, I was talking to somebody on the last live stream. 
and uh, we were talking about real estate. I think they were a realtor. And I was saying, instead of trying to go national with your real estate directory, your niche directory, because there's a million of those, Zillow, uh, um, freaking, I can't even think of realtor.com, uh, Red, um, I can't even think of the dang old names right now. But anyway, you guys understand, there's a whole bunch of them, Airbnb and all of these guys. So I was like, okay, well, guess what? What do you specialize in? What type of listings do you specialize in? Oh, mostly three or four bedrooms. Okay, cool. Why don't your directory only talk about three and four bedrooms? That means for every, they're going to have so many pages discussing three or four bedroom homes for rent and for sale that it's going to instantly rank and index in Google after a while. Those pages, no matter what city is in, that's how link juice work and that's how keyword authority works and domain authority works. So if you become the authority of three and four bedrooms only, then it's going to be like way faster for you to just cut through the competitors, even Airbnb, even Zillow. It doesn't matter because they're more of a general directory. Your niche and Google loves authority. Okay. So that's why this one, this video right here is an extremely important video and like I told you guys, make sure you watch them multiple times, meditate on them and uh, and all of that. Remember, inside this, you, you know, if you get the course, then you have to get your uh, you got to get your your assets. You got to get them built. You know, you're going to have all the uh, the uh, recommendations, the people that help you clone them out and all of that. We're going to put all of that inside the course and all of that. But if you bought the twenty five hundred, then we're getting it done for you. So you won't have to worry about that. OK, so, no, we're not coding and doing all that extra time consuming crap. We were just talking about the fact that everybody on here is middle age. We ain't got time for that when you could just clone these assets and then put your own twists and branding on them. So we're cloning them. My value is helping you fill them and monetize them. That is what we're going to specialize in, in this bootcamp. Okay. All right. So now watch this. While going big is great long-term. So yes, eventually after you become this authority in your city or in your specific niche, you can begin to add other things, other features, other offerings and all of that stuff. So watch this. You need to properly assess time restraints due to income goals. So if you guys are like, okay, David, uh, I, you know, yeah, it's real. I want by the end of this year, I want, I'm trying to make this. So I'm trying to do that or accomplish this. <laughs> the more niche you are, the faster that that works. You understand what I'm saying? If you're trying to take over America and beat out you know, home advisor and thumbtack and all of these guys and Facebook and all. Listen, I I, I can't make you no dang on promises on that because I ain't even beat them dudes. You understand, Pauls? Uh, I don't beat dudes. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying, though. But you understand what I'm talking about? Like, my goal is to make sure that you accomplish monetization on your assets. How far and how big you go is completely up to you and your ambitions as a rider, Pac style. No, I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> okay, so now we got this next part right here. It is, and this is not it, guys. I just wanted to give you a little preview into it. But it's not a million videos either, though, okay? Uh, but it's enough to get the job done. Plan and profit niche directories. A, choosing a niche directory. So that we're going to go over that inside that video. B, ordering your niche directory. Okay, let me be very clear. If you get the boot camp, meaning you pay $2,500, that is the step that you don't do. So please, if you pay $2,500, don't get in here and start ordering your dang on clones. All right, like we're doing that part for you, okay? But if you pay the 2 k then you 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 got to get, get it yourself, right? Okay, so remember that. Okay, now, ordering your niche directory. Now, this is the fun part right here. C, free traffic methods to fill your directory. D, paid methods to fill your directory. Apple Pie, anyway, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but if you know, if you saw that movie does some dying, you, you know what I'm talking about. Apple Pie, anyway. <laughs> All right. So included in the free methods is in creating your is creating your leverage list. 
also known as a Dream 100 list. Russell Brunson talks about it, right? Okay, we want to apply as much leverage as we possibly can. Why? So that it can comfortably take on a life of its own, have enough users and interactions to where it's monetized and, and it can continue growth. Even if it's a slow growth or a modest growth, you just want these assets out there bring you in steady passive income, guys. Okay? If it takes on a growth spurt, all praises to the most high. Good for you, right? But that's not my goal. My goal isn't to make you a millionaire or a gazillionaire. That's up to you. My goal is to show you an established way out that freaking plantation. And the plantation isn't just your nine to five job. Some of you guys already quit. Plantation is also you enslaving yourself with these super difficult business models or time consuming business models that take your whole dang on life. So it's not just a nine to five. Don't think you any better than a person that got a nine to five. Trust me, I know. I enslaved myself so bad. I was like considering going back to work. I'm like, dude, what the heck is this? Okay. <laughs> All right. So number five, creating a theme park profit plan for your directory. So we've talked about the theme park product or service on this channel a few times now, guys. OK, and, and what I recommend is you go back to a couple of the videos on here uh, before tomorrow so you can kind of have an idea of what a theme park product is. OK, uh, because it's, it's not a game. All right. The goal is for each of your assets to be monetized multiple ways, automatically following up with your prospects or whoever signs up, making them customers. The goal of a theme park product or service is to take one customer and get multiple transactions out of that one customer. How can you get five or seven transactions out of one person that's paid you already so that you don't constantly have to be on this struggling desperation search for new customers all the time. You can have the same customers. And if you set up a theme park product, you made seven transactions from them. And if you do it real good, it can be effortless and painless to them. Meaning everything as far as the offers need to be congruent with what they first signed up with. If you got all unrelated offers in there and it just seemed like you reaching, then they like, hold on, what I need this for? It needs to be able to help them accomplish whatever they purchased the first thing with. You understand? Okay. So, yeah, extremely powerful, man. Extremely powerful, full of power. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Tyree says, Shalom. IRS just lifted pack money on the way I will be in class this week. All praises to the most high. All praises to the most high, bro. I was missing you in the money sessions, man. You kind of disappeared on us, man. Kind of disappeared, man. But, uh, you know, I'm happy you're all right. Yamir says, Shalom, all praises. All praises to the most high. Oliver says, I'm going to scrape the jungles of Panama to look for you. Hey, man, that don't sound good, man. <laughs> don't be scraping the jungles. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, it ain't that serious, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, Michael Curtis says, if I did this in Colombia, would I still have to pay taxes in the USA on my profits made? I, well, There's ways around that. But I, I, like I said, I can't give legal advice and that would that would fall under legal advice, bro. You know, uh, maybe if we went on here publicly and all that, I would be able to talk a little bit more about that. I'm I, I'm going to recommend you guys people to talk to about that that can legally give you advice about that type of stuff but i can't i ain't, I ain't trying to get myself i told y'all i ain't trying to get in trouble about none all right <laughs> but yeah like is yeah it's ways around that type of stuff all right so number six plan and profit from no uh, uh notion niche social networks okay niche or niche however people like to say it niche Social networks, all right? So it's pretty much the same thing. A, choosing a niche for your social network. And we went over this a dozen, well, not a dozen, but a couple times now about why you want a niche, man. The more like specific you are, the more particular you are about 
you know, dealing with people, like the easier it is to group them in. And when you have groups of people that are like-minded, that becomes extremely valuable, like extremely valuable. You understand? That's when people come knocking at your door offering to buy you out or stump you. <laughs> okay. All right. So for real, guys, like I need y'all to understand how important this stuff is. Okay. All right. So now check this out. It says, ordering your niche social network. Once again, if you paid the $2,500, do not order nothing. Don't order none of these uh, clones, okay? We're going to get your clones for you. If you already paid the $2,500 or if you're paying the $2,500 tomorrow, then do not also get in here and start ordering your dang own sites. Let us do that. Just be patient, okay? All right, so March 1st, that is the deadline for anybody getting in the boot camp because March 1st is the first day that we're going live in the boot camp. So everybody has between February 20th, which is tomorrow at 5 p.m., all the way into March 1st to get into the boot camp. Anybody after that will just pay 2K and you will get access to the replays and the actual course. So as you're seeing right now, this is just the course. This is this is this is not even the live guys. So th even this, this is still worth the 2K, but you'll just be, you know, at your own mercy of getting your assets. You'll have to like get your own clone stuff and stuff like that, right? But hey, you can do it. You can do it, right? Okay, so <laughs> Uh, next order after that is the free traffic methods. Okay. The free traffic methods. What am I talking about? Free traffic methods that can include, um, you know, video promotion, YouTube type stuff, doing joint ventures, collaborations, uh, trade and barter. Maybe you got an email list and you're blasting your notifications to your stuff out to that email list, and you can let somebody borrow your email list if they let you uh, promote your stuff to their email list. All that stuff is free. Uh, rankings and SEO, different content plans that we're going to be going over live and all of that stuff. So it's just going to be a lot of free traffic methods. So don't feel scared or anything like that, okay? Then we got the paid traffic methods to fill your social network. All right. That includes the leverage list. So everything we do, you're going to notice that we're going to build a leverage list, a list of people, influencers, uh, other business owners, partners, period, to leverage. We're going to leverage them. Everybody's not going to say yes. But even if you had two to five good partners with a decent influence and following or something like that, then you have enough or more than you'll ever need. Think about this. Remember, I was teaching you guys about authority over the Sabbath a couple of times ago. And I told you how even though Yahweh or Christ, um, even though he's he was the most powerful man to ever walk the earth, he still needed to siphon off some of the trust and authority from his cousin, John the Baptist. John the Baptist he had his name had weight in these streets. He had credibility. Everybody came to him to wash away their sins with the water of baptism. Everybody. So they all knew him. So even though Yahweh child was more powerful than everybody, power sometimes, especially if you don't have authority for real, for real like that, power, you understand? Like it ain't enough. He can't just go on the streets and win people over with power. Hey, y'all. Uh, you know I'm the son of God, nigga. You better listen to me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, he could, it, that wouldn't have worked. He needed the, the ear of the people. So he went to a person that the people trusted and he collaborated with them. He went to him, to John, and John was like, dude, what you mean you, you want me to baptize you? You cleaner than me. You more holy than me. You're more powerful than me. I'm not even worthy. But Yahweh was like, just do it, bro. <laughs> You understand? Like he knew what he was talking about. He already knew. So he did his miracles and everything. And, and you couple the you couple the miracles with the authority siphoned from John, and you got it. Now everybody want to be a part of what you got. They want to follow you. They want to become your disciples. And the scripture commanded us to go out into the world and make disciples everywhere, man. 
You understand? So this is why you want your leverage list with everything, because if you accomplish something like creating an awesome niche uh, uh, asset and it can help uh, uh, particular parties and then you go and partner with collaborate or be interviewed by uh, people that are authorities in that space, that gives you the John the Baptist effect. Now their audience becomes your audience, at least a percentage of them. And that's all you need is a percentage of them. How do you think Dr. Phil became Dr. Phil? For, for, for a, a long time, he was just a dang on extra on an Oprah show. You think that was an accident? No, it was not an accident. She featured him on there as long as it took for people to start asking about him. When is he going to get his own show? And once they realized that people would actually watch him without our Oprah, boom, got his own show and it, it blew the heck up. Same thing with Dr. Eyes. It's a formula. I told y'all it's a formula. Same thing with Steve Wilkos. He used to be on Jerry Springer. Jerry made it to where he was the head um, bouncer or bodyguard or whatever you call it. And he kept featuring him in the specific episodes and making sure he was the bodyguard that came and drug people off stage, started letting them get a little segment where he'll give his opinion. Soon everybody was saying, Steve, 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 more than they were saying uh, Jerry's name. Boom. Got his own show. Come on, man. It's a formula to things. So, yes, you're going to always hear me. Anything we build out or take ownership of, we're going to build a leverage list. Because even if you had two partners that had a million subscribers each or even combined, if you got 10% of those audiences to come after you with your assets, man, okay? So now you guys, oh, man, you've had a peek into the asset empire um, course that is launching tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. I strongly suggest that you guys are on that live stream tomorrow, manana. There's already a couple of you uh, from this live stream right now who have paid. I don't even remember sending you an invoice or giving you a way to pay, but somehow y'all find it. What dudes say on uh, Jurassic Park, life finds a way. <laughs> y'all found it, man. So <laughs> we get our notifications and stuff, but it officially launches tomorrow, manana. If you're going to do it, do it and be secure with your decision. Be an adult. We're all adults on here. OK, you have to take responsibility for your your legacy. You understand the scripture says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. You understand when it talks about how rich Abraham was, when it talks about how rich Job was, when it talks about how rich Lot was, when it talks about how rich King Solomon was, it always mentions more than their money. It mentions their assets, their land, their cattle, their flocks, their sheep, their merchandise that they traded. It mentions assets. And this is why on Anti-Job University, we teach you entrepreneurship through asset ownership so that you can one day be rich enough to own a ship instead of being so broke, you can only afford a ticket on a ship. That's why we do this. I don't trust anything that does not have an asset attached to it. I just don't. You can make a lot of money, but trends die off. You need something that is tangible and you need something <laughs> that can take on a life of its own. And the best way to do that is to create assets that help other people. If you own sheep, does that just help you? It's not a pet. It can be a pet, but it still wouldn't just help you. You can give people milk from that. You can start a whole business from two sheep, milk, cheese, clothing, meat. You understand what I'm saying? Breeding, whatever you want to do. Like, come on, assets, baby. Assets. Okay. Ah, man, I began worked up on this mug, guys. Okay. So <laughs> we had a successful. A uh, live stream, <laughs> no interruptions using Zoom. All praises to the most high, y'all. Uh, usually I stay on here a little bit later, but I still have some things I got to get in order before mañana, before tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is a big day. I feel like I'm sending everybody off to college and helping y'all move into the dorm rooms or something like that. It's super exciting. You understand what I'm saying? 
Uh, and I'm extremely, extremely proud of those of you who have already made a move. And for those that are going to make a move, I'm proud of you as well. Remember, for the actual live boot camp, you have from now until March 1st. When March, I'm not going to bend either. I'm not going to bend, okay? Like, don't be trying to go to the club this weekend and then try to squeeze this in later or something like that. No. <laughs> March 1st. When the morning of March 1st come and we go live at 8 a.m., if you aren't in there, then you just, just get the course. No big deal. As you can see, the course is extremely powerful, too. Okay? All right. Remember, in order to cash in, you got to take action. You can look over in the suggested section right now of YouTube and look at the other how to make money videos and all of that stuff if you want to. They can help you. But you're still going to have to take action if you want to cash in with their stuff, too. OK, so just do me a favor and do you a favor. Even if you don't work with me, listen, I pray that you are successful. Even if you don't work with me, I pray that you just do something, man. Do something. Don't keep clocking in forever. Do something. You can't pass the job down to your kids. I don't care how much money you're making right now. I don't care. You can't pass a job down. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay, so do something, own something, y'all. Uh, man, hold on. I just want to say I love y'all. Um, thanks for coming to this makeup Sabbath class. I hope you enjoyed the scriptures at the beginning as well as you uh, enjoyed the the sneak peek into uh, the Asset Empire boot camp. And I'll see most of you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll go live again. Might even go live earlier than that. But we, just for now, we're going to schedule it for 5 p.m. So make sure you guys are here.